Good afternoon and welcome to Living West, where we bring you a variety of lifestyle news from around the Central West. I'm Tyler Knight. And I'm Leilani Vakahi. On this afternoon's bulletin, we'll be looking at the recent increase of 24-hour gyms in the Central West, as well as the dwindling number of young local showgirls entering showgirl competitions. But first, one Lithgow resident has dedicated his time to managing and teaching at the local PCYC in a bid to promote an active and healthy lifestyle for younger members of the community. Shannon Howard has more. PCYC keeps me active. Yeah. active. PCYC is one of the Central West's most well-known youth clubs, promoting active lifestyles and a sense of community for hundreds of locals. 25-year-old Roger Spence has dedicated his time to boosting his numbers as manager of Lithgow's PCYC. But what is PCYC? It stands for Police Citizens Youth Club, um, and it's just a place where people can come, do activities, you know, do there's courses that we run, and just try and be there and help out for the youth. Lithgow PCYC is celebrating its 61st birthday this year. They offer a range of activities for youth across the Central West, including karate, gymnastics and dancing. You see people come through and, and they're naturally gifted or they're intelligent and they just lack one main ingredient or one key part that they need, confidence or anything like that. And to just put an activity on that they can do and that will help them build that, or get better at something or give them an avenue to think, maybe I could do that. So definitely that's um, a big motivator for me. With strong missions driving their operations, the Lithgow PCYC provides a number of community spaces and activity rooms for locals. The centre underwent renovations in a bid to attract more young people off the streets or out of troubled homes. Unfortunately, numbers have dwindled down, leaving the future of the club uncertain. So what's next? We hope to achieve a bigger community base so that people don't feel so much like strangers anymore. You know, that they have a place where they can get together and do things and, and get to know each other. Shannon Howard, Living West. A movement towards higher education seems to be luring youth away from a career in farming. So will family farms soon be a thing of the past? Hayley Williams investigates. The business of farming across the Central West is dealing with a change in tradition where farms would have been passed on to future generations, we are now seeing more properties being sold. Farm owner from Young, Joy Allen, says her family has been farming since the 1900s and is aware of the changing nature of farming. I think it's everybody concerned. I think um, parents realise that um, children are more worldly now. A lot of the, the children that have come back to farms around here that are working on farms now have actually sort of left home, travelled, um, had jobs other places and then come back. Probably a lot of them come back in their late 20s. The future of family farms may be under threat as more country children are choosing alternative careers to continuing on the family property. Mrs Allen's daughter, Stephanie, is confident that she will not pursue a career in farming. I will not live in a regional town though. I've had my fair share of living in the country. Um, love it. Uh, my jobs that I want to pursue wouldn't allow me to live in a country town anyway. So I'll need to definitely live in a city somewhere. But I'll definitely visit, visit the country a lot. Stephanie is just one of thousands of farming children across the Central West that are embracing their newfound independence. I guess um, parents don't force their children to do what they did. It's not as a bigger thing as it used to be. Um, I think it would be more pressure on sons too, but my parents had two daughters, so I may have never expected us to want to be farmers or anything like that. Now the question remains, will family farms be a thing of the past? Hayley Williams, Living West. After a homosexuality triggered assault in Orange earlier this year, we've been investigating whether homophobia is a problem in the Central West. Despite the fact that gay marriage is a hot topic in the media around the world, it seems many in our region may still oppose homosexuality. The May incident in Orange saw a 21-year-old gay man assaulted and his female defender taken to hospital covered in blood. A news poll conducted by the Central Western Daily found that 73% of people agreed that Orange is homophobic. Despite the fact that our neighbours in New Zealand have now legalised gay marriage, there is still an alarming number of locals opposed to the concept of homosexuality. Daniel Banfield has experienced this firsthand whilst living in Bathurst. Yes, I do think the Central West is homophobic. I was bullied, like, for being gay. I probably wouldn't hold my boyfriend's hand walking down the street 
uh, just because I feel like really uncomfortable, um, especially in the Central West where it's not really the norm for people to do that. People in the Central West, just if someone's a little bit different or they don't conform to the stereotype, you know, masculine, um, go to the footy, um, drink beer or whatever, um, they immediately think that they're gay. Yes, it's definitely something that needs to be addressed here in the Central West. You may have noticed a number of 24-hour gyms popping up throughout the region lately, but why are they so popular? Hayley Williams finds out. Fitness is a high priority in the everyday lives of youths around the region. The necessity for gyms to accommodate for this generation's heavy schedules has resulted in 24-hour gym chains increasing in popularity. Roughly 38% um, of members are under the age of 25. So that's the biggest percent of members in the gym. Gym member, 22-year-old Chase Aldrich, uses Anytime Fitness daily and says the gym is a great way to meet people his own age. I basically chose Anytime Fitness because it was an anytime gym. You can come at 24-7, no matter what time, no matter what night, day. With the increase of youth using Anytime Fitness, nutrition seminars have been introduced monthly to help young people feel better and understand their dietary needs. Um, we've done nutrition, um, bulking, um, we'll just say ladies night to show them how to do weights or um, core strength or just different topics that are most popular at that time. 24-hour gyms are becoming more popular with the youth of the Central West. Earlier this month, the second of these gyms opened here in Orange. Gym manager Darren McGregor says that the 24-hour gym craze suits youths for a number of reasons. The accessibility definitely won 24-7, so um, no contracts uh, to um, it's very low, it's affordable, it's convenient. The competitive nature of gym facilities ensures that members of SNAP Fitness are afforded increased benefits when they sign up. If you're in America, India, Asia, um, New Zealand, anywhere like that, you can access that particular gym for, for no extra fee or anything to your membership. With the busy lifestyles of young adults in the Central West, it is evident that 24-hour gyms will continue to rise in popularity. Hayley Williams, Living West. Here in the Central West, a local show tradition has seen many young women compete for the title of showgirl over the years. However, new challenges have seen a significant decrease in the number of entrants at smaller towns. Paige Topman reports. In the Central West, country shows play an integral part in the rural lifestyle, showcasing the agriculture, farming and craft from the region. Showgirl competition started 40 years ago to give the girls of the country a voice. But now, young women from the region are no longer relying on these contests to showcase their talents. While it is assumed to be a result of young country girls moving to big cities for work and further studies, 2012 Blaney Showgirl winner Sarah Ewan believes there is a new stigma attached to the title, which has girls hesitating to register. It is kind of a lost, a lost um, aspect of the show. A lot of people don't want to enter the competition. Retired coordinator of the Blaney Showgirl Society, Jenny Milner, says the showgirl competition is still important as a part of the show culture, teaching girls life skills, etiquette and boosting confidence. I think the showgirl gives an opportunity for girls to highlight what they've been able to achieve in their life in, in, from an age of 18 to 24. Showgirl competitions have always brought numbers to local country shows. However, in recent years, country towns like Blaney have only had a number of entrants between two and five girls. And here in Trunky Creek, they don't even have enough entrants to run a competition. We're a very small region and at this point in time, we don't have the participants that um, would be able to enter um, for the, that type of competition. Paige Topman, Living West. Now, if you have nothing planned this weekend, the Duck Face Secret Location Party is happening in Bathurst on Saturday night. It's going to be a huge event with What's So Not, Nat Noise and A-Tones playing. Tickets are as cheap as $30 and are available from Cobb & Co on William Street at Bathurst. I know I'm looking forward to it, Leilani. Well, that's all we have time for this week, but for further interviews, articles and information on today's stories, visit www.cci.csu.edu.au. I'm Tyler Knight. And I'm Leilani Bakahi. From all of us here at Living West, enjoy your weekend. Stay tuned for Sports to Youth.
got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got a love, and I know that it's all mine. Oh, do what you want, but you're never gonna break me. Sticks and stones are never gonna shake me. Oh, take me away, a secret place, a sweet escape. Take me away, take me away to better days. Take me away, a honey place. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got a love and a know. Wish that you could, but you ain't gonna own me. Do anything you can to control me. Oh, oh no. Take me away, a secret place, a sweet escape. Take me away, take me away to better days. Take me away, a honey place. There's a place that I go that nobody knows where the and I call it home And there's no more lies And the darkness is light And nobody cries It's only by